Hello everybody, my name is Knives27 and welcome to PC Building Simulator. I just, five minutes ago, heard about this game through a tweet that Jack sent out. And he said it was fucking awesome. You can find this on Itch.io and um, right now it's in early development right now because there's supposed to be a career mode. Oh, oh shit, my mic. My mic came loose. Why did you do that? Okay, crushes averted. Um, what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is on Itch.io and um, as you can, yeah, there we go. As you can see, it's supposed to be you're supposed to have a career mode, but right now there's just a tutorial. I jumped in here just to see what it was like, and supposedly you use real parts, and possibly in the regular game, you're going to have to be able to build uh, badass computers under a budget or something like that. I don't know. I haven't done anything else yet, other than play uh, pop into the tutorial, so let's see what's going on here. Hi, and welcome to PC Building Simulator. To get started with this tutorial, press I after you close this window, open your inventory. All the parts you own are shown in the inventory along with the quantity you have. Close the inventory after you're done to continue with the tutorial. Press T to toggle and window cube. And yeah, cool. Got it? Cool. Um, so yeah. All I- that's not what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, you can walk around, and you got your own little private workshop right here. Where you can build PCs and And what is that? Is that- is that a Dell? Is that a Dell? Okay, so yeah, you, you gotta build PCs from scratch. And, uh, I actually love doing this kind of stuff. Okay, there's nothing. I, I almost fucked that up one time. What, what's over here? What's all this? I got tapes. What is this, Resident Evil? I got a measuring tape. I got some scotch tape. I got a box. What's in there? Oh, oh, it's an old, uh, it's, it's an old Apple II or some shit. I remember those. I had the, I had one of those in, um, uh, when I was in grade school. Shit. But anyway, so, you need to change the project. I'm pressing E, nothing's happening. Okay, so first things first, we got to, let's see, what we got? So, I, I got I got a decent amount of knowledge about this kind of stuff, because I've built every single PC I own from the ground up. My mic stand is having a midlife crisis or something. So, you know, you got, you got, you got your standard ATX case here, and you know, they come in all kinds of different parts and shit. So, this is almost what, this is almost what my current case looks like. Yep, and there's vents up there. So. This is, this is pretty much designed for modern PC building, or based on modern PC building. So, we're gonna go into, uh, what do I have? Okay, I think, okay, first thing, we're gonna start with the power supply. We're gonna take the power supply and do something with it. Install PSU, we got a 500 watt, uh, thermal take. Pra, pa, 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 pa. Bottom mounted power supply unit. God, I can't talk and think at the same time. Okay, so we got that connected, and, uh, God, if you've ever seen any of my videos of me, uh, opening up my PC, I am horrible with cable management. I guess basically what we're doing is just throwing a- throwing a PC together. Uh, mis miscellaneous. We gotta do standoffs. Drive cover cycle. This is really, really basic stuff, and it's really modern. I don't know that there's really one way you should do everything. I always start with the motherboard. So, install motherboard. Boop! And look at that thing! Wow, it looks just like the one I have installed right now. Okay. So, okay. Then we got your power. You got your, uh, uh, your main power right here. This, I believe, that's usually like the south bridge. Or front side bus or something like that. You got your PCI Express, PCI Express for your video cards. You got your other PCI Express for other shit. You got uh, heat sinks and shit. Let's put in a processor in this thing. What do we want? What do we have for processors? We got a dummy CPU. Is, is it in there? Oh, oh, that is so cool. You can open it up and everything. And I'm guessing you got to go through all the steps. Oh, oh, I can zoom. Holy shit, I can zoom. What do you got? Can you guys read that? It looks like it's a I something. An i3? Is that an Intel i3? They're using brand name stuff, I have a feeling they're not gonna be... Dip, dip stuff and things. There's all those headers and shit, uh... This is what I like doing. Oh, and that's your, uh... Auxiliary. You always gotta make sure you have that installed before you try to power the thing on. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Kinda like with video cards. Okay. My next step... Um, let's close that. Can we close that? Please? We gotta close that. Close that up, keep the processor in place. And, um, let's go ahead and put a fan on this thing. Let's see, cooling, simple fan, stock cooler. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, they're definitely using name brand parts in this game, so it, it's gonna be, that could be an issue. So we got our PC, we got our CPU fan installed. Uh, let's throw in a couple more fans. No, not case, power supply. So we pretty much have what we can do to make a 
basic PC. Okay, so I want to put a fan in the back. It doesn't ask you which way you want to install it. Then I want to put one. I want to put one right here, maybe. I want to put a fan in here. I want to put a fan in here. How do I do that? Give me a freaking fan. Yeah, there's there's also no sound to be heard. Maybe it's... Oh. Okay. Maybe I can't put fans on there. Maybe, maybe I gotta buy fans. Can I take the case apart? Oh my god! That is a lot of inputs. Jesus. It's like standard to have like 10 USB ports on your uh, system now. Is that, a, is that a thing with the stuff in the air? Yeah. That's a little... That looks like a display port? Why would you just have display port and not HDMI 2 and all that good stuff? This is based off a real motherboard, I believe. Well, look at Okay, so we got our fans installed, we got- We need memory! We need memory! You can't start a computer without memory! Do I have to do it in a certain order or some shit? Oh. Uh... Ha 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 I didn't know this was part of the- part of the process in this case. Okay, so, uh, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do to take this shit off? I gotta put the damn standoffs in here, Pat- Pat- Platform rotation controls. How do I take stuff off? Do I just have to restart? Haha, <laughs> there's all this other crap. I have to start over! How? How do I do? Okay, I'm back. Had a little technical difficulty there. So I need to uh, figure out how to do this. I can't take anything apart. It won't let me it won't let me restart or do any I And pressing E does nothing, people! Okay. Let's go back to the main menu and start this again. Tutorial. Okay, it's actually giving me a tutorial. So I need to- I get you, I get you. Okay, I need, I need to install standoffs. I get it. Boom. Boom. Boop. Boop. Yeah, you, you gotta do- Although most of the cases that I buy, the standoffs are already installed. So I don't have to worry about this when I've when I built computers. Before we install the motherboard, we need to install the power supply unit. Yeah. So, we're, uh, installing the power supply. Boom. Right there. Now we're gonna install the I.O. shield. Oh, I'm a dumb dumb. I am a dumb. Um, what do we need? Back panel. Side panel. I.O. shield. Oh, God. I didn't mean to quit the tutorial. Now open your tutorial. It's like the motherboard I just bought. Okay. The motherboard. Asus P8 P67. Never heard of that one, but at this point in real life, you want to install the screws to hold the motherboard. But the parts in this game are held together by magic, so they don't require any screws. Okay, next. We're going to install the CPU. Click that highlighted part of the motherboard. That is called the load plate. What's hold some type. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yes, I remember this. See, with me, I have, oh, I have been using AMDs for as long as I've been building my own PCs. Simply because I can't afford Intel all the time because they're so godly expensive. It's similar to that, only the socket for an AMD CPU, it ju it's just a latch, uh, and the thing moves the thing moves back and forth to, uh, to lock and unlock the CPU instead of an actual plate coming down and holding the CPU in place. Okay, we're gonna install the CPU, which is where? Down, 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 down. Drive cover. Everything, please. Dummy CPU is looking right at it. Okay, toggle. All right, let's install that CPU, that Intel i Core three or Core i three or whatever it is. We gotta install the fan. We're gonna install thermal paste. Ah, zip, zip, zip. thermal paste, man. This is the stuff that transfers the heat from the PC or the CPU to the fan heat sink, which you know, heat thermal stuff and things, cooling. Um, no, where is it? Miscellaneous. Thermal paste! You only need a dot, it'll be spread by the cooler itself. Ah, yes. Can I zoom in? Boop! Now we install the CPU cooler. Stock cooler. I don't really like these stock fan fans and stuff that come with CPUs nowadays. But now we install the graphics card, the part that takes information from CPU, turns into an image, and displays the screen. I know I'm not reading this shit for you guys, because this is shit I already know. As a rule of thumb, dedicated graphics cards have more power than integrated ones that are used for GPU intensive applications like gaming or 3D modeling. <gasps> to install the graphics card, go to your inventory, select from the graphics card category, and install on the highlighted slot. We got an Asus GTX 680 Direct CU2 2GB thing stuff. So yeah, you can install 
You could install one here, and you could install a second one if you wanted, I guess. This game doesn't tell us that we have to. Now we will install the RAM. This is a type of storage in which your PC works very fast. Wait, I read that wrong. This is a type of storage in your PC which works very fast. Running programs are stored here for faster operation. If too many programs get loaded onto the RAM, the CPU has to move them between the RAM and the hard drive, which slows down the operation of the PC. To install them first, you will have to open the pins. Oh my, you have to do every single step that's actually kind of cool and kind of, kind of stupid at the same time. But, okay. Boop, 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 boop. Because it's, it's just annoying trying to, you have to precisely click on them. All right, cool. Now select the modules in your inventory in the Mercury memory category. Why did I say Mercury? Two different colors of actually these are called dual channel sets. You should install matching RAM modules and matching color sets to take advantage of the performance boost they give. But generally, you will want to install the same type of module across all your slots. As in my case, I have I have four of the same uh, brand and model of RAM, but they're just two different speeds. So, so I'll, I'll show you one here. What I'm saying, I would put. I will put two of them in these two slots, and I don't think it really matters, because I got two different speeds, like I said. I got 1866, and I got 2133. So I put, like, two of them in these two slots, and the other two in these two slots, and they they pair up, and the faster ones get down clocked, so they run at the same speed and all that good shit. Uh, memory! Good job. Boom. Boop. 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 And you always want, if you're gonna run, if you gotta run dual channel, you always run it in pairs, like like it says here. Hard disk drive devices. Of, 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 okay, let's uh. Let's get the memory. The storage. You a hard disk. We got four hard drives to put in here. Holy crap! Well, if you are a YouTuber, then you gotta you, you gotta have a lot of space for. Uh. Lastly, we will install a fan in the back of the PC, selected from the cooling category, and install the highlighted slot. Press T. Blah 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 blah. I want to install more hard drives, goddammit, because I'm a YouTuber. And I have a lot of stuff to put on here. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and install the other graphics card. An optical- I can't do that? Okay. Well, I guess I have to do this. I guess I just have to do this. Simple fan, right here. Cabling- oh, God! Don't forget to neck the hard disk on the back! Okay, F1. Mount on mount. Cabling! Okay, boop. Okay, that is the... That's the EPS 12 volt. Uh, provide the additional power... Okay, yeah. Okay, so then that is a fan header, I believe. Fan cable. Boop. And then... This is our main power supply right here, so we got the 2024 pin ATX power. Power of the motherboard, some expansion cards. For example, low power dedicated graphics cards don't need an additional power connector. They get all the power they need directly from the motherboard. Now, this right here... Oh, it's a chassis fan. Oh, that's for the fan down here. <laughs> okay, this is the fan right here. Okay, so I can't keep... I can't put more stuff on here, but where is it? Simple fan. No, 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 some... Uh, <laughs> you don't know me to install more fans. So this... <laughs> usually high-performance graphics card. That is not a high-performance graphics card. A GTX 680? That's old. Let's see, six pin. I don't see why this requires 14 pins of power. Maybe it's just demonstrating that concept. PCI, uh, PCI slots. Okay, cool. Then I gotta turn this bad boy around. Let's turn it around. Turn it around. Then we got. Okay, we got say to power. Say to power. Stop telling me every time I do that. Say to power. Did you just say to power? Here we got. Say to. Say the cable to transfer data is updated to the loader ID. Features support for hot swapping. Uh, uh, okay. Support hard data. I wasn't entirely sure what hot swapping meant. It's gonna tell me this every single time I do it, though, too. And that's gonna get annoying. I gotta make the window go away every time. Seda. 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 Seda! You have finished assembling the computer, now it's ready to go. Press Q to finish the tour and start discovering things on your own. Cool! Um. Let's turn you back around. We're, we're gonna modify this bitch a little bit. Let's put some covers on this shit! What is that? What is that for? What is that? Yeah, it kinda sucks if there's no sound, but like I said, it's... There's a free game in development on itch.io. Okay, so I'm going to add... I'm going to add other fans. I'm going to add... I can't add fan sayers. Why, why I can't add fan? Oh! Oh, is that what... 
Is that what the mount? Oh, okay. Mount is used to install parts and remove parts from the slots after they are. Oh, wait. Did I? Some slots have pins to be able to lock. Click unlock, for example, the LGA slot or the five and a quarter base. Okay, I need to find a way to take this off. I need to find a way to take this off. I want to take this off. I want to take front off so I can install fan. Is paramount to success. It not work. It not working. On mount mode not work. It can only put in, I can't take out. Why? Why is thing? I install, I install, I install DVD drive. No? Did I fuck up the tutorial again? It said press Q to discover stuff on your own. It, but let's hope they get better, better card. So this is all the stuff I have already. So this was, this was kind of cool, but I can't do anything else. Why can't I do anything else? You tell me, you tell me I can do these things, but I can't do these things that you tell me I can do. I know, I know this is not a finished game by any means. I know that. I got a fan there. I want to put a fan up there. I want to put a fan up there. <laughs> cable. -y. Boop. There's another fan cable. Boop. Oh my god, what the hell happened there? Oh my god, I thought I broke. Why is that? What does that look? That's not how they. Is that how they work sometimes? I have never seen memory clips that do that. That's weird. Aha! Haha! Look at that, there's a thermal paste. Okay, let's let's remount. Why did I do that? No, don't take the CPU out, you douche. Okay, close close this back up. I want to put fans on front. This will this will probably be an interesting game once it finally gets uh finished. I uh, want it's a fully finished product. This is gonna be interesting. Let's install this other graphics card. With 14 more pins of power, because apparently it needs that much power. That is a lot of power for an old video card. Now, why can't I put these in here? It's not a part of the thing? It's not a part of the thing? Why it does not let? There, okay, that's what that's for. This actually does look a lot like my case. Okay, I want to put the freaking DVD drives in there. Oh, I gotta put the memory back in too. Boop, 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 boop. That is just weird. That looks weird. It looks like they're broken. Okay, so, come on. Work with me, game. Aha! That's why. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Okay. Boop, 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 boop. I should be able to put this other fan somewhere! Why can't I can't? Why I can't? Cable mode! Once again. Here we got... Molex. Wait, what? Oh. Now wait a second. Hang on a freaking second. No, that's not right though. That's not right. If it's a SA if it's a SATA drive, in my experience, you would use SATA power, not Molex connectors. That's uh wow, that's overkill, if you ask me. I actually have this exact drive. Somewhere. I don't know. No, but a SATA power drive doesn't use Molex connectors. From what I understand, why would that be a thing? I got to uh, figure out what to place this other fan. Why would they give you three fans if you can't put them all in here? It doesn't make any sense. Hang on. Unmount. Why could I take that one out and not the other three? Why not? God. I know this is an unfinished game, but still. Okay, I'm back. I had a little mishap. My computer completely froze for some stupid reason. Fortunately, I was able to uh, save the first part of this video. So, okay. Congratulations, you have finished assembling your computer and it's now ready to go. Press Q to finish the tutorial and start discovering things on your own. There's nothing left to discover, though. That's the thing. At least not with this, so I'm just gonna turn the message off. There's there's a few other things I could put on here. I could put on some drive covers. Okay, boom. And boom. There's that. But I'm still curious as to where this other fan can go. Why would they give you two of the- Why would they give you three if you can't put them all in there? Okay. Now, we're done. We got- we got a- we got us a decent PC. And those are the- I guess those are the holes for, uh, water cooling. Maybe that's what those are for- are meant to be for in the future for, uh, radiators. For cooler- for water cooling system. 
But then there's also this right here that's kind of an eyesore. But then again, I don't care. That was PC Building Simulator, everybody. I hope everybody learned something about building your PCs. There, there's not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot to do here. I mean, you just got... But anyway, this, this seems like it has a lot of potential. You'll be able to build custom PCs. Maybe like you'll have to be you'll have to fill out orders and the person only has a has like $500 to spend and you got to build a PC from the ground up using those parts or using parts that that only make that much. That's the kind of stuff I'm kind of into. I I've, I've been interested in building my own PCs since I was like 18 or 19 since, since before I started going to college. Anyway, go check this game out on Ichio and I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you want to go check it out yourself. It's free right now. I just saw I just saw Jack's tweet about this. He thought it was awesome. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I, I was really just hoping it was just going to be like it was going to be as a minute step by step thing. But I mean, wh wh what would I expect from something like this? I don't know. It was a decent game. It has potential, and I look forward to seeing what they have for it in the future. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button down before below for me. You know the drill. Check out my videos on my channel and subscribe to see them as I make them available to you guys. I'm getting tired of saying that because it doesn't seem to be having any effect. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye.